so much for watching. If you are new here, welcome. My name's Selena and I make beauty, fashion, and lifestyle related content. So if that sounds good to you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below so you can see new videos from me every single week. So the other day I was scrolling on Amazon as I usually do and I came across this at home gel kit and I thought it was super interesting. It comes with the UV light, nail polishes, pretty much everything you need. And I am someone who has been getting my nails professionally done on and off for the past six or so years. So I really wanted to find something that I could do at home so that way I can just save a little bit of money and time and then keep the salon trips for special occasions. Right now, my nails look absolutely horrible. I actually had longer nails, but some of them got broken, so I just cut the rest of them off. And this gel that I have is about three to four weeks grown out, so it looks pretty bad. And I really just need to clean these up a bit. So I actually have to do a soak. I'm going to try to take these off with just acetone and leave them on for maybe like 10 to 15 minutes. And then go in with the kit, which I actually haven't even opened up yet. Because like always, when I do any kind of reviews or product testing on my channel, I like to open it up on camera with you guys to get my first impressions. So yeah, let's get started. Because these nails, they need some help. So the first thing it comes with is a pouch, which looks to be all of like the nail tools that you're gonna need it comes with a nail filer this brush thing which I'll be honest I'm not really sure what this is for some nail separators another nail file it also comes with a fluffy brush I'm not really sure what this is but I think this is for your cuticles if you're looking for an in-depth review this is not this video because I have no idea what I'm doing so I'm just learning as I go along and then of course gotta have a nail clipper this says it's supposed to be the base gel for the nails and then it gives you two top coat options. One is just a regular gel one, and then this is a matte gel top coat. Next, we have the actual light and the plug for it. This is what it looks like. It just gives you different options up here for how many seconds you wanna turn the light on. And then the outlet that you just put the plug in in the back. In here, we have a cuticle oil. They do give you a manual for the lamp, just like how to use it, and then also an application guide, which I think is nice. Comes with some pictures, because like I said, I'll say it again, no idea what I'm doing right now. But I'll give you guys a close-up of the directions, just in case you want to see that. And then lastly in this box, we have all of the gel nail polishes. So they do give you some different options of which colors you want to choose. I personally just love nude nails, so I chose the option that comes with nude as well as some gray colors. Like I said, I do have some gel nail polish and acrylic on my nail now, so I do need to take that off before I can get started. I found these aluminum foil nail wraps off of Amazon. These I got separately. It says that I'm supposed to leave this on for about 15 minutes. I'm not sure if I'm going to have to file it off after. So yeah, I'm going to do this first and I will be right back. Alright you guys, so 10 years later, all of the product of the gel and acrylic is finally off my nails. I also cut my nails a little bit, and yeah, this is what they look like. I have not seen my nail beds since June. It feels so weird to have no nails on right now. So just looking at the application guide, I've already done step one and two, which is to clip the nails to desired length, and then I filed, shaped, and buffed the nails. Step three and four are using these two tools, which I didn't know what they were for. This is to push back the cuticles, and then this brown one is to trim them, so I'm going to do that now. So for step six, it says to apply the base coat and then cure it in the UV slash LED light for 60 to 90 seconds. Now it is 
it's finally time to paint the nails, I decided to go with this pretty bubblegum pink color in 686 if you're wondering. Um, the directions don't tell you to do two coats, I did just because that's what they do at the salon and I figured it would help the nails last longer. So if you're going to buy this or just do any gel nail at home, I would suggest doing it two, maybe three times if you need it. And then I also left both hands each time I did a coat under the UV light for 120 seconds. So two minutes both times. After both of the coats were done, I applied the top gel to my nails and I let that sit under the light for about 120 seconds as well. The last step is to apply some cuticle oil, which I did need since my hands were so dried out from all the acetone I used. Um, I also went ahead and added some hand lotion as well because like I said my hands are pretty dry so I just wanted to make them look as pretty as possible. And this is what they look like. Alright you guys, so this is the final result of the nails. Overall, I'm pretty happy with them. I mean, this was my first time, so I wasn't expecting like salon perfection, but I think they look pretty good for the first time. I will say for the next time, I definitely want to use less gel when I'm applying the coats, just because on some of the nails, I put too much and then it ran over into that space between the nail and the finger. And also, I hope by the time I do take this off, my nails are a little bit longer, so I have more of a tip to like maybe do a design. I can get some stickers. Maybe I can do another video in the future. It does say online that it can last anywhere from two to three weeks So I'll have to see about that and let you guys know in my future videos, but yeah, that is it for today I hope you guys like this video if you did as always don't forget to give it a thumbs up Leave a comment down below on what you guys want to see from me next and once again Don't forget to hit that subscribe button that being said I love you guys so much and I will see you all in my next video. Bye